telling everyone you're gay is hard enough in regular life, now try doing it when you're shrunk down to the size of a pea and are living with insects. My pain is not caused because I'm gay. My pain is caused from how I'm treated because I'm gay. This is a harsh environment, man, and I feel like the spotlight is always on me. I've, I've always known I've, I've been homosexual. It, it's not something that developed. It, it's something that has always been there, and, and it has flourished as I've gotten older. At, at times, the pressure is too much for me, and I've tried taking my life. You know how, how bliss it must be to not have to think or feel anymore. But I couldn't do it. It's not right that our society deems it necessary to to let the world know you're you're gay. But I don't care, I'll scream it from the grass tops. I'm Max and I'm gay. And there was a point in my life where I would never have dreamed of being this open and, and that was before I found love. Wait! No, I know exactly what you're thinking. Oh, Alfred's gay. Oh, he doesn't seem gay. He seems really cool and heterosexual looking. Well, that's because I am. Just because I'm dating a young boy does not mean I'm gay. If anything, I'm a paedophile. Because technically, in a few years, I'm about 65 years old. But also because I'm an aphid, they can't prosecute me, so I'm safe. But, regardless, they can't get caught up on the relevant things like age, gender, species. Because at the end of the day, they can't help you fall in love with. And I happen to fall in love with a male human child. But I'm not gay. We're just like any other couple, so don't look at us or treat us any differently. Yes, I may be human, and he may be an aphid, but deep down we're exactly the same. Right! I put my socks and shoes on just like him! Three feet at a time! Yeah, well, Alfred's really opened my eye on how to be a proud gay man. He's made me feel like I can be whoever I want, and do whatever I want, without being judged. You know, he may be small, but he's filled with with confidence and, and passion. And somehow he has also filled me with his confidence and passion. And aphid seem. How do things work in the bedroom? Hmm, pretty normal, I guess. We're very, very sexually active. Aren't we, honey? Aye, but not in a gay way or anything. Because I'm, I'm not gay. I mean, for a little guy, he has a really good jump on him. So he has great pull-out technique, where he leaps off at the brink of climax. You know, we may be gay, but we're not dumb. We don't want to go creating any human aphid crossbreeds. Be the master. Ew. Right, take a cover leaf out of our book, and let this be a lesson to anyone who's struggling to come out and be who they really are. You just don't have to hide from yourself. Or hide yourself from others, you know. Let the world know who you truly are, and you'll never look back. We used to be like you, but now we do what we want, when we want. One hobby we've taken up is, is couples dancing classes. It helps us let loose, live our lives, and be forever happy. Being with Alfred has made me want to live forever because I'm as happy as I could ever be, and, and I don't want our relationship to ever end. Something special has happened here, and, and I don't think anyone can take it away from us.
so when the time comes, the boy must die. Yes, yes, he must die. You've been raising him like a pig for slaughter. Don't tell me now that you've grown to care for the boy. So when the time comes, the boy must die. Yes, he must die. And Voldemort himself must do it. That is essential. 